so in this class we will discuss about working principle of transformer see previously we discussed about working principle of dc generator dc motor synchronous generator see if you can observe everywhere having two windings one is field winding another one is armature winding but coming to transformer here also i will use two windings but one is primary winding another one is secondary winding see this is primary winding this is secondary winding this is secondary winding so here also having two windings one is primary winding another one is secondary winding but in dc machine dc generator or synchronous generator which type of emf is induced which type of emf is induced dynamically induced emf dynamically induced emf why because there is having rotation rotating part they are having rotational parts but coming to transformer there is no rotating part both windings are stationary transformer is stationary so here we will see the working principle of transformer see here which type of supply you can give the coil suppose if you give the dc supply which type of magnetic uh, which type of current passes through the coil constant current which type of magnetic field is developed constant magnetic field is developed so is there any emf induced in the coil conductor is stationary field developed in the coil is also stationary so constant flux cuts to the coil stationary conductor no emf no emf is induced in the coil see here conductor is stationary that's why you should give alternating supply alternating voltage now if you give alternating voltage which type of current passes through the coil alternating current that is i of t alternating current passes through the coil so when our the alternating current passes through the coil what happen alternating magnetic field is developed so alternating magnetic field is develop alternating magnetic field is developed so what is alternating magnetic field alternating is nothing but time varying magnetic field which is varying with respect to time which is varying with respect to time time varying magnetic field is developed time varying magnetic field is developed so which type of magnetic field is developed time varying magnetic field time varying magnetic field so that time varying magnetic field cuts to the conductor see here which type of magnetic field is developed time varying magnetic field that magnetic field again cuts to the coil again passes through coil so some amount of flux passes through a some amount of flux most of the flux passes through core this is transformer core this is transformer core so most of the flux passes through transformer core some amount of flux passes through air this is called leakage flux this is called leakage flux main flux passes through transformer core main flux passes through transformer core see when all the flux cuts to the coil which type of flux alternating magnetic flux alternating magnetic field alternating magnetic field cuts to the stationary conductor stationary conductor what happen conductor is stationary but flux cuts to the conductor is alternating time varying time varying magnetic field cuts to the conductor so that so that emf is induced in the coil emf is induced in the coil that emf is that emf is e1 that emf is e1 and induced emf always opposes the applied voltage always opposes the applied voltage according to lenz law according to lenz law so here what is the working principle so when our the alternating current passes through the coil what happen alternating magnetic field developed in the coil that alternating magnetic field again cuts to the coil so that emf is induced see same alternating magnetic field passes through 
transformer core and again cuts to the secondary coil again cuts to the secondary coil and so in secondary side also emf is induced this emf is called mutual induced emf mutual induced emf why because conductor is secondary but the flux developed in the primary coil cuts to the secondary conductor that's why the emf induced in the secondary coil is known as mutual induced emf mutual induced emf the emf induced in the primary coil is known as self induced emf self induced emf so emf induced itself that's why it is called as self induced emf self induced emf suppose here when all the flux cuts to the secondary coil here also emf is induced but is there any current passes through the coil no when if it is under no load condition is the circuit is is this circuit is closed is this circuit closed no it is operating under no load so that if it is not closed is there any current passes through the coil uh, circuit so i2 is zero if i2 is zero is the, if there is no current passes through the coil is there any magnetic field developed in the secondary coil no when the magnetic field developed in the secondary coil if there is having any current passes through the coil then only there exist magnetic field so which is not possible in under no load condition suppose if the switch is closed what happen current passes through the coil current passes through the coil so when all the current passes through the secondary coil what happen what happen in secondary coil also magnetic field is developed in secondary coil also magnetic field is developed that magnetic flux always opposes the main field flux that magnetic flux always opposes the main field flux clear so what is the working principle of transformer then all the alternating current passes through the primary coil what happen the alternating magnetic field is developed so here here alternating magnetic field again cuts to the stationary conductor so that emf is induced this emf is also known as statically induced emf statically induced emf statically induced emf why it is called statically induced emf in dc machines they are having rotating parts rotating parts that's why the emf induced in the dc machines are called these are ac machines rotating machines are called dynamically induced emf but here conductor is stationary so emf induced in the stationary conductor is known as statically induced emf static not moving that is the meaning static dynamic means varying so this is about working principle of transformer any doubt so already i shared the document in uh, means uh, regarding material in my youtube channel at the comment you can search and uh, prepare that material so here i am explaining the content only you can prepare my notebook or material i shared it i shared it in youtube channel thank you mm -hmm.